We are ready now for an ISKA light middleweight world Muay Thai championship. Fighting out of the red corner from Denver, Colorado. Welcome, Dwayne Ludwig. His opponent in the blue corner from San Francisco, California, Alex F. 14 Gong. Hotel and Casino, we bring you a special uh, five round, three minute rounds in duration with two minute rest period. A special Muay Thai battle for the ISKA Light Middleweight World Muay Thai Championship. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 160 pounds. He's wearing the red trunks. At 22 years of age, he comes to us from Denver, Colorado. His record stands at 28 wins, only two defeats, 16 wins by knockout. Here is the challenger and the WKA US champion, Dwayne Ledwig. And his opponent, who will be fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 159 pounds. He's wearing the blue and black trunks. He's 30 years of age, and he comes to us from San Francisco, California. He has an professional record consisting of 25 wins, two defeats, 16 wins by knockout. Here is the current ISKA light middleweight champion of the world, Alex F-14 Gold! Our three judges scoring this bout will be Al Lefkowitz, Art Lurie, and Jeff Mullins. Your referee in charge is John Shorley. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Are you not? Are you gonna do your thing first? Let's take a look at our rules for this ISKA Light Middleweight World Championship Muay Thai rules: three-minute rounds with a two-minute rest period between kicks anywhere to the leg except the knee are allowed. Elbow and knee strikes will be allowed. Gloves, of course, required, but no foot pads or shin pads allowed. No three knockdown rule in effect. A standing eight count rule is in effect for this fight with a modified 10 point must system using half points. You ready? You ready? Okay, guys, expect a good clean fight out of both of you. Obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now, come off, I think about good luck. Al. Let's go, blue corner. Oh, sorry. Alex F-14 Gong, the title holder in the Fairtex blue and black trunks on the right of your screen, and Dwayne Ludwig, 
in the white with red trim out of Denver, Colorado. World Championship fight. And Alex coming into this fight with a bit of a bad taste in his mouth uh, with a loss, a non-title fight loss. Kit Coke. But, uh, he wasn't going to tell us, but he a bit under the weather in a number of ways. Had uh, uh, leg damage. And down goes one. Two. Short Three. left hand. Alex. Now right Alex. under the corner. Four. Nice short left Five. with Alex. We can really hit the chin. It doesn't take Seven. much. Eight. Ludwig looks nonplussed. Ludwig went down from the, from the force of that blow, but I don't think it's really shaking him that much. It's, it hasn't really happened when he's been compromised by the team. The short punches that Alex has been throwing here so far. This is early We haven't seen Alex Gong be that much of an inside puncher in the past. He's mostly been a late kicker. Now Ludwig with the best defense, good offense. Uh, you saw the elbow strike attempted here. by Alex Gong. And something to mention, el elbows are allowed in this bout, unlike the K-1 bouts. And Alex Gong is one of the best at using his elbows. It's only a roundhouse style of elbow strike that's allowed. Not a spin, not an upward, or not a downward strike. But it can come out of nowhere also, and you can actually throw it at the last second. You throw the punch, let the punch go by the face, and bring the elbow into play. So it can be a deceptive attack as well. These guys work very even. Ludwig has fought, but Alex has fought the best. Ludwig got a left into the jaw of Alex Gong. Might annoy him more than anything else. You see Alex throwing the kicks, really to throw off the pacing of Ludwig. Just as he, Ludwig was about to attack, Alex beat him. that he scored a lot of points on Ludwig, but the fact that he had to come out and show people that he is the champ of this light middleweight division. Don wanted to establish a pattern early on. That this is going to be a fight fought according to his dictates. Came in, that short chopping left, he showed he has power inside. The power he's got outside with his leg kicks is already well known. Alex Gong wants to take control of this fight and carry that control through all five rounds. And Alex did score one knockdown in the first round. Right there. That's that short See, left. Didn't look like much, but if it lands on the button like that, it can pitch on the floor. Flash knockdown rather than a stunning one, but the effect is the same. It, it gained points for Alex Gong on the judges' scorecards, and most importantly of all, it established Alex Gong early on. You see the way he's staring down his opponent. There's a lot of psychological warfare going on in that ring. Well, just the fact that Alex has the presence in a clinch, in a flurry of attacks. To see that opening when he's in close, when he's probably being punched out or kicked out by Ludwig, but to see that opening and throw that short left, that's experience. A lot of things go through the mind of a fighter when they're in that ring, uh, even in the first round early. Okay, so you make sure you get back up when you're done, okay? Why don't you get to the ground? Alex has the reach, and that probably could win the low kick game, but uh, Alex showed the punch. Stepping out too much, trying to nail him. Move your feet in to go get him, all right? Yeah. He's tired. Yeah, move in, all right. He's tired already. Yep, you're right, Dwayne. Wait, 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 wait. Is he saying that Gong's no. tired already? Is that what he said? Back to your phone. That Back may be a phone. miscalculation on the Ludwig's part <laughs> if he thinks Alex You don't want to send your fighter in that. No. I don't think Alex Gong is tired. <laughs> Round two, Scott. I'm not even sure how it's gone. It's warmed up yet. 
Well, we did hear some advice from Clarence Thatch in that corner for Ludwig that was very good advice. Step in more, step in more. You're allowing Don to control not just the pace of the fight, but you're letting him control the critical distance. And that's not a good thing to do when you face Max Don. That's not a good thing to do when you face Max Don. You want to keep the fighter guessing at where you're going to be, either too close or too far to be hit. You don't want to just stand in front of him and be a target, be a punching bag. That high roundhouse kick from the left sent a message very strongly to Dwayne Ludwig. Because the next time Alex deeped it, there was a huge flinch from Ludwig. So he knows that that can come at any time. That was stunned with this dude. I think just at the right time, Alex Gong will throw. He's got the ability that so many great fighters do. And tell me if I'm wrong. When you get into a situation, and sometimes it just happens in slow motion when you're in tight. You can see the opening for some reason better than anyone else. Conscious mind, you're slow. There's some animal mind. That's what you got to do. Alex ain't a good straight left there by Ludwig. I mean. Uh, Look at this, um, look at this a fight. I mean, this is a close round. He earned the world title bout. The camera knee there, I think Alex snuck one into the body. He comes with so many weapons. And he can throw at any time when you least expect it. Alex Gong. Try an elbow there. Try an elbow. Oh, and he answered. Look at the answer for the elbow. Very evenly matched fight. A cut under the left eye of Ludwig now should not create a problem unless the ring doctor thinks that it will flow too freely. I think that's a result of that elbow strike by Gong. The advantage of elbows is obvious. There's no padding. You can cut easily, and that can lead to a technical knockout. strike to catch him as he was coming in, but he was a little too slow with the elbow and he banged up his head. So yeah, obviously, though, nothing, nothing happened. Come on, give me some heart and soul, baby. Okay, heart and soul. Don't let him stop this fight. 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 championship. Title currently held by Alex Kong in the blue and black. 
Fairtex Trunks taking on Dwayne Ludwig from Denver, Colorado in the white and red. Lon McCarron along with Mike Sawyer and Don the Dragon Wilson calling the action from the Mirage Hotel Casino in the Las Vegas Strip. It's a rare sight from Alex Gong and the Muay Thai fights in general. They're spinning hook kicks and not particularly favored by Muay Thai fighters. And Alex Gong can do a little of everything. Well, he is also scored with a little of everything, so he might as well open up the whole drawer and see what he's got and see how it'll work. Ludwig has got some weapons. He maybe needs to alter his battle plan a little bit. He's got punches and kicks that, that can get in there on Gong. He's got to start working in combinations. When he jumps in there with that right hand, he's dangerous. So he needs to go now before Gong gets him set up. He's waiting. so far for Ludwig, and he's gained some confidence. He's capitalized well on one of the few weaknesses Gong has. He doesn't have much head movement. When they go to hands, he doesn't bob and weave. Well, now look at Ludwig. He's waiting. He's waiting for an opening. He's being a little more mature of a fighter, not just going in wondering what he's going to find. He's actually looking for an avenue. Trying to sneak in the knee there. Didn't quite get it. That front kick right up the middle is dangerous for Alex. Oh, again, again, yeah. He's going to the body and the face with it. Now that is something for Alex Gong to think about. Oh, one of those strikes inside. Actually, we saw one that's not allowed the upper elbow. Good left hook inside. Break! I got it, I got Definitely it, I got it. Got the it. strongest Break. round for Eight. the challenger, Four Dwayne Ludwig. Forward elbows only. Being warned not to yep. throw the upward elbow. I heard that from referee John Shorley. Seconds of this round. Ludwig, I think, can lay back and get some rest. Uh, elbow missed. A good round for Dwayne Ludwig. I give him that one. That could have been a 10 9 round for Ludwig. Well, I give it to him, makes it unanimous. On our unofficial score. Let's hear what happens. on pads, brother. You're not showing us the best you got yet. This is where you get another shot. from the third. Good round for Ludwig. Ludwig's best round by far. This is an attempt by Alex Gong to push Ludwig on his back. And that uh, not only makes a fighter get up and use energy, but it hurts him hitting the canvas. Now, Ludwig turned it to his advantage. Gong does not bob and weave well. He kept his head right in there, took the punches. He didn't have a lot of steam on him, but it gained points from the judges' scorecard and maybe most importantly, some confidence on the part of Ludwig. Same flurry from a little different angle. Right, Ludwig is opening up the hands because this back-legged front kick has been effective all night for him. He's scored to the face clean. Nobody the body. This back-legged front kick, a very unusual thing to be landing like this. Now it's a fight, baby. From here on, again, one of the weaknesses of Alex Gong. Like, is pushing smart like you did that last time. Ludwig, but as he tugs on Superman's cape once too many times. 
We were told in between rounds that the reason John Shirley did not call that a knockdown, or I should say the reason he felt Don went down, is Ludwig stepped on Don's foot during the combination. That's what knocked him off the box. Got a little low. Round four, scheduled for five. It's a world title on the line. Held by Alex Gong right now. If you look at Ludwig, he seems more confident. He doesn't seem like a challenger who's intimidated. It looks like he's waiting for his chance to get inside and land. I think this is a, a round where Alex needs to send a message. Nothing else. He's going to turn the tide back in his favor. Notice Ludwig stood his ground that time. Stood his ground and countered well. That's an indication he's no longer uh, intimidated. Uh, I don't mean I'm sorry. Is it too late to try to take out the legs? It really has not been a factor so far in this fight. going to be stopped to the leg. I think it's going to have to be the chin. If anybody gets stopped, they're going to have to get hit on the chin. At this point in the fight, there are uh, good ways through the third round. It's a little late to be starting to work on the legs. Oh, we're probably going to keep going up top. Okay. In the fourth round, about a minute left. This round is progressing. Uh, round five is going to be a doozy. And Alex Gong had the momentum going early, and he's lost it. He's going to take it back now and carry it through the fifth round if he's going to win a decision. He's got to score a couple of points in this round, really, to take it out of that judge on the fence. Well, right now, Alex is the one fighting back. He's more yep. defensive. He looked at his kind of oh, Hey, tip for tap. Tip for tap. Front kick right up the middle. And Alex has found a way to counter that. And Ludwig came back with his own front kick to the body, and now a right hand to the body. Don was back on his heels for a moment. Uh, just took a good right from Ludwig. But he took a lot of shots in that round, as many as he took the entire rest of the fight combined. And that last blow, the knee to the chin, that's a, that's a killer. That one really takes it out of you. Let's take a look at action near the end of round four. Left hook, right hand, glancing blows, but they're still pushing Alex, Alex back here. He's going to dig a, a, a good, solid body shot in one of these combinations here, and I think that really had a telling effect. Right hand. You can see in Alex's see eyes. Digging down to the body. Knee to the head. Good combination by Ludwig. Good overhand right by Ludwig again. Nice clean shot, but uh, Alex no took it well. Done. Well, there's no more than that. close yeah. fight. Yeah. I, I don't think anybody's got it together right now. This last round could decide it. I think it will decide it. It's going to be very hot. Whoever wants that title is going to go for it right now. Just staying outside. Get busy, okay? All right. All right. Man, what do you got, man? I was about to do it right now. What am I with? You gotta push it. This is the last. This is the last one. Gotta go get it. Oh, never. Use your hand. Use your knee. Use your hand. Use your knee. Look, you never gave up in any fight in your life, right? Don't start now, okay? title that you're looking at right, right there. In there. Okay, you're right some, in uh, Big landmarks along the way. A couple of hills and valleys. He's did the head of duty and in your okay. career. You fought many fights with elbows. What does that psychologically do? Last round. Last round. Uh, basically, it's very cautious, but... Last round. Give me 
clean one. Okay, last round, this is it. He wants it. It's all about desire now. The winner will be a world champion. Will Alex Gong have to give up the belt? Good strong front kick. Up in love. Right on the belt. Send a message in round four, but I think he was thwarted to doing that by Ludwig. So far, round five looks to be Ludwig's round. It's early on, but he looks very confident. Okay. I think we've ever seen at the end of a, of a bout. Both fighters would have to be arm weary at this point, but neither cares. Both going for broke, letting it all go in the last 30 seconds of this fight. And plus, those two punches <laughs> were thrown after the belt. The last 33 seconds of this fight. <laughs> oh, he only gave us him a couple to grow on. That's uh -huh. all. Don't get mad at oh, is that what a fighter says? A couple to grow on. Well, that man might be a new world champion. Who knows? They're still trying to. You'll see here what I like about these fighters. They're punching. They're using the knees. They're using the elbows. They're, they're good straight left by Alex. Um, they're using all the weapons you can in Muay Thai. Elbows, knees, punches, kicks. Look at that. Right to the last bell. And a couple of the grow on, as we said. We saw a very timid Ludwig early in this fight, but he came on every round getting better and better despite the huge cut to his face. And we're ready for the decision. And we'll hear it from Jake Gutierrez. He's gone still the world champ. Before I 
give the decision. How about a hand for two brave warriors here this evening? Glenn Woodward and Alex Gong. And now we go to the scorecard for our decision. We have a split decision. Judge Al Lefkowitz scored this bout 48-47 for Gong. Judge Art Lurie scored the bout 48-47 for Ludwig. And Judge Jeff Mellon scored the bout 48-47 for the winner by split decision. And still, ISK. take away a title from a world champion. Well, they, they say that, Lon, and in most cases it's true. It shouldn't be that way, but it is. But in this case, I think he did take the title away. I'd have to disagree with that decision. Alex Gong's been a favorite in this sport for a long time. He's a great person, a great fighter, but I think tonight was not his night. I think Ludwig took the title. So Alex Gong, by the skin of his teeth, hangs on to his ISKA world title. And it was an interesting bout all the way through. And he is now with our own Don the Dragon Wilson. Alex, yeah. Alex, very close fight. Um, tell me, what, what gave you the trouble out there tonight? Uh, I, I don't know, I just fell a little bit slow on my combinations. I made that fight tougher than it should have been. What do you think won it for you? Heart. Heart. Not skill today, just heart. Did it surprise you with anything? You know, he used a little bit of everything. Elbows, knees, I mean, everything. What surprised you? No, I got a little stupid. I saw that blood coming from his eye. And I was like, oh, I want to get that, I want to get that. And it threw me off my game. Well, you know, there was a little flurry there at the end where uh, he was throwing elbows, you were throwing punches and knees. I mean, was there anything that he did that upset you the most? No, it's all internal. It's myself. If you'll take, if you'll take a look at the monitor, you'll see here that um, He's throwing uh, elbows, knees, he's matching you punch for punch. Um, tell me what you think. Well, it wasn't pretty. But uh, <laughs> it's funny, he landed two shots after the bell. I kind of, hey! <laughs> but uh, uh, I always knew Dwayne was a super good fighter, and I know he's got a long way to grow in his career. He's uh, gonna come a long way in the future. I have a lot of respect for Dwayne. Congratulations, great win. Thank you. Back to you, Lon.